Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Dream of Five. I am Pondon. Last time my computer had some issues and the video was a little wonky. I apologize that it got cut off a bit early, but we're still here. We are still here. We're still doing it and we're going to keep doing it right now. So you're going to watch me walk to the boss very slowly. Do we kill off- I, can we kill off Colbane so I can build the Amelia Garrett support some more? I'm not gonna lie, that one revelation has made me want to replay the whole game. Just to see how dominant the pair of them would be. Because I think Amelia and Gareth together, my god. I can bench Illinis. Much to Scryza's chagrin. Alright, let's see. We're gonna do this. Boop. Boop. Get everyone moving on up. Yeah, so like the map, the way this map flows. Ooh, Renair. So the way this map flows, right, there's like all this tension and then it just completely releases and it's just completely slow through it and i think that's just an issue with these types of very linear maps is that the pressure kind of builds in one specific point and then nothing happens chester getting the kill big experience gains let's see so this guy's got a short spear this guy's got a chris Seems like a job for our friends Colbane and Gareth here. Accompanied by their dear pal Renair and Gareth's new friend, Amelia. Gareth's new good friend, Amelia. I wonder what was planned for their support. I feel like it would be amusing. Poor Seymour with no support partners, though. But yeah, a lot of baiting. Oh, I need to start bringing, um, what's-his-face? Chase back. Okay, Chase. Rancior. All right, now. I am also getting hungry because I'm playing, it's 9 a.m. right now as I'm playing this on the weekend and I'm getting hungry. Been wanting to order food for the past couple of days, but I've been trying to be good about spending money on things. And also just like watching my diet, just trying not to get fat. Always the, the goal, right? Just don't get fat. And um, I kind of want to go get like takeout Chinese food, which I haven't had in a long, long time. And Seattle doesn't really have great takeout Chinese, but it'll suffice. If I can find it at least. That's the hard part is finding it. I'm gonna go for a walk later. It's not too cold here. Go for a walk, pick up some Chinese food. I don't know. We'll see we'll see what's available, I guess. There's a couple of moving parts. Chase, come on. But yeah, this is prime bait and switch, man. Speed and defense, okay. A longbow man? I 
Alright, I think we can take care of all of this over the wall, basically. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that with you specifically. Because I do kind of... Will I need the Chris against you? Probably not. I can, we can break the Chris, I think. For the sake of expediency, we can do that. I think that's a fine play. Okay. Yeah, because he'll still have a few, a few uses left, and then hopefully that'll be enough to defeat the boss. Alright, this map is really starting to slow down. Bloody Edge. Blo Double Bloody Edge! Alright, let's um, get Amelia here with her good friend Gareth. Milanese. Get Chester ready to open this door. It's a big door to open. I hope it's like an actual door I can open. Okay, it is. I can't wait for there to be like some type of ambush spawn when I open the door. But this map has gone on for a really long time. I think we're fine. Okay. Oh god. I forgot it's a long bow, but it's fine. We're just setting up for the kill. Okay. So... Um, I actually kind of goofed here, but I think it's fine. I think we can make this work. Gareth and his good friend Amelia. All right, we can, I think we can turn the animations back on. And get ready for the conclusion. I forgot to move Chase again. It's not gonna matter. Chasing down the convoy. Thank you, Colbain, saving us a use. This map does kind of, in a way, remind me of the end of the first arc of Staff of Ages, but I think it's just because it's a big castle map more so than anything else. Okay, now... Seymour, can you finish this? Some more! I gotta say, Lance Seymour, functionally Canis? You decide. Alright, now... Now, is this the part of the map where we just do this? It's actually not a terrible strat. How do you do? Not terribly. Let's see. If we get Renair, and then how does Renair do? Pretty poorly. So I think we can do this. So it ends. Dude, I want the Gareth crit so bad. Yeah, this is good. I like that it removes any support, or any, um, what's it called? Crit risk, so we can do this a bit more safely. I'm glad Amelia's getting <laughs> one-rounded. Let's, uh, let's do some heals real quick. And then, what can you, what are you saying here? You're saying a little bit. You're saying a few things. You're you're putting some. Oh, oh, we can dance. Why aren't we dancing for our good friend Gareth? All right, Gareth's gonna end it right now with a crit. Nope. 
Man, the hit rates are awful, dude. Okay. Awful. Alright. Oh, wait. Support? Oh, he supports Gabe. Okay. Alright, Kadanos. Alright, this is Gareth's big moment. Great bow, Gareth. The weapon that we've hoarded for this precise moment. Gareth! I could not. Big level up for Gareth? Big level up for Gareth. Let's go. That's it, then. We've won. Hey, Vashank is here. The Lord some more. The palace is free of enemy resistance at last. And yet no sign of my master. More. Yes, sir. Aye. You would be tyrant then. You have bought your crown honorably. The old way. The bloody way. Our people grow yet scarcer with every one of these wars. Promise me, my steed, you'll reign. your reign will mean an end to a war. Shinken, I am unworthy of the honor. But I would crown you instead. What? I knew nothing of this. Was there really time? Ah, I could do with a drink. Fetch me one, boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> a natural follower, him. Could spell trouble later. Well, well, you have outdone yourself after all. Yes, I shall restore peace to these lands with an iron fist if needs be. There shall be peace in my time. CG! Quite a turnout, considering we killed half the house guard. Quiet, Renair. <laughs> this is my finest hour. I am a kingmaker. Don't get snooty on me now, Seymour. You're still just an employer to me. Hush, it's happening. I shall take the crown of Honduras with a whirlwind blade. I shall smite our foes with the holy scepter. I shall defend my people. There shall be peace in my time. I do like that Seymour doesn't take the crown for himself. I respect that. Dashed his head on the cobblestones. And that's how I lost my eye. Evening, Tyrant. A charming tale. You warriors of Akuma fight with savagery and honor. It's a pleasure, mate. Buy you a drink? Oh yeah, you run the place. I have a boon for you, Commander. Do you know where she is? I am here, Tyrant. What is it? Why <laughs> The tyrants feel like... It's such a negative sounding word. I'm surprised that that's what they call their leaders, but I'll, I'll roll with it. If you would step into a side room, madame. The matter is a private one. Of course. Uh-oh. This, my friend, is the whirlwind blade Zephyr. I recognize it from the coronation, and from when we cut down Yinsei. A beautiful sword. They say, although this is but a rumor, that if one favored by the goddess of war, Everild, touches it, one receives a vision. Everild. But I thought she was immortal, one of the great heroes. Guys, did I rip off b -Rout without even playing it? All the great heroes become gods when they die, and ones of such power as the ten most truly be major ones. But let us not argue theology. I would allow you to touch the blade. I thank you. Mm, cold to the touch and ah, Commander. Commander. King. Everald. Commander Renair. Your skill at arms honors us all. Eh? What do you mean? Yinsei was weak, but still held me in his hands. To have lost to a weak man would have been shameful. But you and your band, you are strong. And you shall be stronger still. You. This isn't just the sword. I never died in battle. I never found a match for my skill. So when I was old and gravely ill, I ever well took the blade Zephyr and thrust it through my own heart. The blade took on my essence, and I live on with it. Dude, she is the blade! True edgelord. But I do not have long. Go back to your lands, Renair. The lands where Paula the Crimson hailed from. You will find allies there. Go, Commander. And defeat your enemies once and for all. Ung. Um. Are you alright? You're out cold for about three seconds. And now you're back already. Three sec- never mind. I need to see my men. End quickly. And that's why I'm going west again. And load your help to do it. If you're certain Everald truly did speak to you. I'm as certain of this as anything as I've ever been of anything. Well, there's no question of my loyalty. I'm with you through the end, Commander. Gareth is here, dude. He's here for it. As am I. Colbane! I'm sure the rest of my- the lads are with me too. The lads, dude. You can count on me, Driscoll. Oh, look at all the friends coming out. I'll be the first into the fight. Ha ha ha. Chester. Saved this far, haven't I? I know where my loyalties lie. As long as you've still got a use for me, I'll be there for you. 
I'm still confused. Ah, uh, hell. I'll catch up as we go along. Yeah, you're too busy chasing down the convoy chase. Let's do it. Uh, I suppose so. Can't complain about the pay we've been getting so far. I may not be a fighter, but I can still hear you're wounded. Combat Asher. Come on, man. You're Combat Asher now. I'm with you. If I wanted to run, I'd have left already. I'm not leaving now. Wherever might the fates may guide us, I will follow the eternal soldier of fortune. Huh? What was that? I kind of vagued out for a second when you said Paula. I knew a girl called that a few years ago. She had the most enormous... Oh. Canis. For honor and for glory, we ride. Well, if you're all going to follow, then I guess there's nowhere else I can go. Just don't come crying to me when we get our arses kicked out of the country again. Balder, your crew had served us well, and no fear, milady. I'm coming with you. Me as well, sir. I'll hand anyone that gets in the way of the captain. Me too, milady. Are you surely? And the road's dangerous. I've dealt with worse. See more? Renair, you came to me, and I saw you as nothing more than a common or a woman. You've helped me look past all that. If the Lord Tyrant would allow me, I would fight for you still in your hour of need. You go with my blessing. Vashank, my lord. Having formally restored some more style, he is now in need of a retainer. But surely you don't mean. Vashank, I've known you as long as I can remember. Your mother was my wet nurse, and, I've, and even since I was just a young child, you've been following me loyally. Go, Vashank, as a free man. But serve some more as he deserves. The hero of Andorus. My lord. We'll meet again, I swear it. All of you. Thank you. Thank you all. All right. We did it! Wow, we beat Dream of Five. Uh, what happens here? We go to Dragon's Gate. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're fighting a dragon. And Midoru. Yeah, so this is clearly unfinished. But holy crap! We beat Dream of Five! Again. Um, so what I have to say, man, what a good hack. Um, I think I will make a separate video on my overall thoughts of the hack. I think that, like, most of my opinions on the units didn't really change. I used a pretty similar crew to last time. Seymour was kind of underwhelming for the most part. Neat idea. I like his prof sword, having basically, like... Nana's Earth Sword is pretty neat, but his combat was not that great where he couldn't really make good use of anything. Still, he was serviceable. Um, he mostly just existed to like pick off weakened enemies. And uh, I liked Chase. He was never a standout, but he was really good against the Wyverns in the early parts of this arc because he was the only one who could really one round them, and there were so many, so he was really useful. Pretty well designed unit in that sense. Um. I didn't use Valona. Vashank kind of sucked. He's just not very good in a hack like this that's so enemy phase oriented. In a player phase oriented hack, maybe, but he doesn't really double that much. His defenses are pretty weak. His luck is low. Just didn't really see much use from him, especially when you have like Chester and Renair and Colbane, all these other good sword users. Vashank doesn't really have much opportunity to stand out. Um, similarly, Inari. I think Inari would have been good if my Colbane wasn't very good, but. She was fine in the chapter we used her in. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say here. All the other units, I have the other video where I talk about each of my impressions of the other units, and they haven't really changed very much since then. But overall, I'd say Dream of Five is my favorite hack, and it does a lot of things that it's, I disagree with, but it also is just a very interesting experience that I like thinking about and that I think I, I can learn from and I think that we as a HackRom community can learn from. And I think that makes it pretty cool. I think that if this hack was completed, we would be talking about it in the same breath as TLP as a classic. I think because it's unfinished, it largely has been forgotten by the community at large and kind of just is like a relic of the past. Um... But there's a lot of good lessons here, both like in how it's designed and also how it was developed and how we can improve our own work. And I think for me, Dreamify was certainly an inspiration in my own work after playing it. I think Dreamify has played a key role in impacting the subconscious of the HackRom community and the direction that we've taken over the past few years in terms of our development 
of um, our hacks. And I mean, this started over a decade ago. So you can see just kind of how far we've come from this and just kind of what had to be done back in the day before we had fancy ASM or had known anything about FE8. Dream of 5 was an impressive marvel of its day. And yeah, I think there's a lot to learn. Does it do everything well? No. Are there a lot of chapters that are frustrating? Hell yeah. Are there a lot of design decisions I really disagree with? Definitely. But it definitely at least shows you why they're not good design decisions. And it makes it very clear to me as a player, like, wow, I would never want to make someone go through some of this. But there's also other things where it's like, wow, that's really cool and innovative. And you could see that like some other people have taken it upon themselves to fix things or try other ideas that this hack has done and execute them on them better. And I think Dream of Five helped establish that. Maybe I'm giving too much credit to the hack, but I do think that for when it was built, it's super impressive. And I think even today, if you're developing your own hack and want to get a better sense of like how to make, how a player feels when they're playing, I think Dream of Five probably elicits some of the strongest reactions for me as a player. And that kind of helps inform how I design things. And it sticks in your memory and really shapes how you approach transparency and reinforcements and enemy balance and all these different factors that, you know, you might kind of do intuitively, but you might not have an understanding of how is it going to make the player feel. And Dream of Five helps you really understand how this will make the player feel. And I think for that, it's a good, good game to play and it'll help you kind of shape how you think about things. It's certainly not for everyone. I could understand if you don't like it or if you want to drop it. If the maps are long, you really need to use save states liberally as I'd have. It's super unfair, but it's very satisfying to win. I feel very satisfied having beaten it now, twice. Um, but yeah, this was fun. I'm glad we did it again. And I look forward to seeing what's next. So I'll probably make a video on like why I think Dream of Five is dope to go into more depth on things I just shared, but overall, what a fantastic hack. Um, kudos to you, Astra. And thank you for letting me use your soldier animation. It's very kind of you. Um, I think this is a really cool hack. I would love to see it completed because I think the hack still has tons of potential even in its current state. Um, I know Mage Knight 404 has a secret dev patch from 2016 that was never released with a few extra chapters and some updated art which is pretty cool so i encourage you to catch his streams and his snake mom melissa also has an lp of this hack that's updated with that so you can see some of the differences some of the ambush bonds have been removed some of the art has been updated there's a few new chapters including post route split chapters which give renair's promotion which is neat so overall the hack is good and I encourage you to give it a try and play it play it to, to analyze it and understand it play it to understand the elements of its design I think if you just try and play this casually to sit back and enjoy you won't enjoy it frankly I think you'll enjoy it much more as an exercise in design and thinking critically about the design decisions and how it makes you feel as a player and how it can inform your own design so that's Dream of Five Overall, I'd say I like A route a little bit more than B route. I think both routes have their issues and their highlights. I think Arcus is way better than Seymour. I think Saren is way better than Canis. But overall, it was fun. I had a good time. I hope you did too. And I'll be signing off now. So I'm Pondon. This is Fire Emblem Dream of Five, a Fire Emblem 7 round hack by Astral Lunasol. I'll see you next time for whatever comes next. Until then.